You know, with the whole DEI thing in Hollywood, and I think Hollywood is possibly the craziest in the country with this whole DEI thing these days, the only way for like a white dude to actually get a job seems to be claiming they're like homosexual or something. And it's like, honestly, like half of Hollywood is like that old bosom buddies TV show, you know, where, where you got the, 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 to get a cheaper apartment in a women's only complex, the two guys act like a woman, but except in Hollywood, you got the added twist that, that you need to proudly proclaim that you're a man dressing like a woman. Whereas, you know, in the TV show, they were, they were dressing like a woman and not proclaiming it because that's the way they got the cheaper rent. But th now you, so it's kind of a twist. It's crazy. You know, like a job interview seems to be go like something like this. It's like, are you a homosexual or could you possibly check any other of these boxes we have listed here? And it's like, well, you know, although I'm not, I'm not at all attracted to men. I, I do believe, you know, at, the, at one time the term gay meant happy. And I do consider myself like to be a happy person. In gen Plus, I do like rainbows and color. Color in general is good. I like colors. Although I don't really associate them with gayness, or at least I didn't. Honestly, now I... Now I must admit that I that I feel some unease even purchasing a bag of Skittles, and and I and I do tend to to wear just gray these days. I have just gray on so as not to to be fronting with the local gay gangs, you know. Seriously, I I feel like I'm living back in the hood, man. Except that the gay gangs, they they don't let you wear any colors. It's like what the heck's going on here? You can't claim. You can't claim all the colors. You maybe like one, like one or two per gang. That's all you get. You know, you can't just all colors. What is it? What? And, and, and my war, my, my wardrobe turned into looking like the Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg's old, old wardrobe with the same gray, the same gray t-shirt every day. You know, man, I, I really wish. I really wish the Skittles company would come up, come out with an all gray colored bag of Skittles so I could, that would be nice. But anyways, oh, and I do prefer having sex in my home rather than like in public, like at a park under a tree or something. So I guess I'm like a home oriented sexual person, if that helps. Do, does that make, does it matter if I'm like, I'm a home oriented sexual person. Does that check off the right boxes? And the D the DEI Hollywood people are like, no, not only, not only does that not count, but you have just revealed that you're a public park sexophobe, meaning you have a, you have a phobia against public park sex. Ne next, you'll be telling us you disapprove of drag queen sex hours for kindergartners for crying out loud. That's actually a check in our blacklist box section, not like the good, which is our, which is, you know, in favor of social justice, we've renamed the black box to the white list, to the white list box section. I know it's confusing, but the point is, those are the bad boxes, man. You're in one of the white listed bad boxes. Not, not only will you not be getting a job here in Hollywood, we're, 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 we're proceeding to dox your house. We suggest you buy a full length mirror. Why? Because you need to watch yourself, man. That's right. That's right. You need to watch yourself. Be gone, you bigot. That's how interviews go in Hollywood. At least that's what I'm told. I don't know anymore. I moved. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding.